Hello everyone, my name is Una and I'm the creator of Cards and Hugs and today you will be learning how to make this animation and if you want to share your artwork please tag me and use the hashtag that you see on the screen so I can see all your creations and share them. Also, I made a free brush set and color palette that I will be using in this tutorial and the link where you can download them is in the description. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and start drawing. First, we need to create a new canvas. On the screen you see the sizes for different places you can share your animation. I will be using the first one, 1080 by 1920 pixel size. In this tutorial I'll be using the first pumpkin brush and the size is around 60%. Then, by using snapping, put your pumpkin in the middle of the canvas and move more at the bottom. Now, let's create a new layer and put it under our pumpkin layer. And on pumpkin layer, click reference. Then, work on the new layer. Then, choose the first color from second row and just color drop it in so the pumpkin and the roof is covered. Then create a new layer and choose the darkest green and color drop it in the stem and those little guys. Now click off the reference and turn this layer off. Then create a new layer on top of pumpkin color layer and do a clipping mask. Now choose the second color on the second row and brush will be dry ink, full size and just color it in. Then create a new layer and do clipping mask again. This color will be third from the second row and brush will be noise brush from touch-ups, about 20% size. And now slightly go over where the pumpkin curves are. Then choose a bit lighter color and do the same. You can adjust the brush size if you need. Then with the first and the second color shade of this row, color the pumpkin's top and bottom. And with the lightest color you can add some highlights. Do something similar with the roof, shade light at the top and dark at the bottom. Now you can merge these layers together, create a new layer and choose 6B pencil brush size 40 and the second color of the row. And now just draw around the pumpkin's outline and on the inside lines and make some strokes on the pumpkin. Then you can make it even darker lines so the pumpkin looks how you like. And if you don't want to watch all this pumpkin coloring, just the animation part, then go to minute 14 where we start creating background and ghosts.
and here I chose the darker color, adjusted the brush size a little smaller so the lines are thinner, but it's totally up to you how you make this part of the pumpkin. And here you can see I added some sketchy lines inside the pumpkin, darker at the top and bottom and lighter in the middle of the pumpkin. And then with the lightest color I tilt the pencil and add some highlights. It would be just like shading with the real pencil. And now with darker colors Shade in the eyes and nose and add some highlight with the lightest color at the top of the eye. And now with the darkest color, let's go over the pumpkin's face. Just draw over all the wet lines you see. Then I go to the pumpkin layer and I just color in all the little white spots I got left. And with the lightest color make one side of eyes and nose pop out more. And now let's work on the roof. With the darkest color make the roof's outline and the inside make some wavy lines. Then with the lightest color make some highlights on the roof. And 
Now that pumpkin is done, you can merge the layers together. And you can call this the pumpkin layer. Now let's work some magic on the stem. Create a new layer on top of the stem layer, clipping mask, and choose the second color of the green row. Then choose dry ink brush and go over the stem. Now I chose a little bit lighter color version and add a new layer to again clipping mask and choose the noise brush. And then draw slightly over the stem. Also make one side of the stem lighter and other side darker. Also the top and the bottom of the stem will be dark as well. Then merge these layers together and create a new one on the top. With 6B pencil and the darkest green, draw the stem's outline and some scribbly lines on the stem. Then with the lightest color do some highlights and scribbly lines as well. Also don't forget about those little thingies at the top. Then turn back on our first layer and with the low opacity and with the darkest green make this squirrely thing and add some highlights as well. And now you can delete the first layer and merge all pumpkin layers together. And the pumpkin's done. Then create a new layer, put it underneath the pumpkin's layer. Choose the darkest color and the noise brush, 30% size. And do like an oval shape underneath the pumpkin. This will be the pumpkin's shadow. Then create a new layer and put it under. Choose the second color of the first row and the brush will be soft airbrush, the biggest of them. And go over the screen, then choose lighter and lighter colors and go towards the center. Then you can smudge these together or use Gaussian blur and make the layer smooth. Then to make background more interesting, add new layer, choose the lightest color and the speckle brush from the pumpkin brush set and just dab around the screen. lower the opacity and merge all these layers together. Then create a new layer and with 6B pencil and the light color make two wavy lines that will come out of the pumpkin's roof. This will be the ghost's path.
then evenly spread 11 lines on each wavy line. This will tell us where the ghost's head will be. Now combine these layers together and you can lower the opacity of the layer we just created. Now turn on animation assist and click on this frame and make it background. Then at settings adjust 8 frames per second. Then choose dry ink brush and we already have the white color. Then click add frame and drop the ghost's head. Click add frame and make the ghost a bit bigger. Then click add frame and on this frame the ghost is already out. So make it like a teardrop shape. And then just keep adding new frames and make the ghost's head touch those little lines that we made. And drop the ghost's body as the line goes, so it flies wavy. And now we are reaching the end, at the last frame, where the full ghost will be shown in illustration. Then add new frame and draw only the ghost's tail. And now press play and see how the ghost flies. If you are not happy with something, then adjust it now. Now uncheck all the frames and start making the second ghost. Add new frame and let's draw the same thing but on the other line we created. And as we reach the last ghost, don't forget about to make a new frame and make the ghost's tail. Then press play and see how this ghost flies. Now you have 12 frames for each ghost. You can delete the guideline layer. Then click back on all the layers so they are visible. And now we can combine. Let's drag the first frame to frame 6. The frame 2 will go with frame 7. Frame 3 to frame 8. Frame 4 to frame 9. Frame 5 to frame 10. Then 6 to 11 and 7 with 12. Then the frame 8 will go to the frame 1. 
frame 9 will go to frame 2. Frame 10 with frame 3. And 11 with frame 4. And the last one 12 with frame 5. Now press play and see how the ghosts are flying together. Now flatten all the layers. And now you can create the ghost's faces. It's totally up to you how you draw them. After that is done, I will turn every layer opacity to 70%. When it's done, uncheck all the layers. Now we will work on the pumpkin. Choose the smallest soft brush and the lightest yellow. Opacity around 60 and make the size that you like. Then add frame and color in the eyes and nose with very light pressure and make the ground a bit shiny. Then add frame and color in the same but with more pressure. Together there will be four frames and with each frame add more color. At the last frame, I color inside the eyes and a bit outside the eyes. Then duplicate frame 3 and put it on top. Then duplicate the frame 2 and put it on top. This will create a loop and watch how the pumpkin glows. Now duplicate each frame, it will make the light a bit slower. Now check back in all the ghost layers and combine the light with ghost layers. Frame 1 with frame 1 frame 1 with frame 2 frame 2 with frame 3 frame 2 with frame 4 frame 3 with frame 5 frame 3 with frame 6 frame 4 with frame 7 Frame 4 with frame 8. Frame 3 with frame 9. Frame 3 with frame 10. And then the last two ones.
and now you can press play and see how it all came together. Now flatten each layer. To make things more interesting, I dab around with the speckle brush and with the lightest color around the screen on each frame in different positions. You don't have to be precise with this one, just have some fun. And now let's make the animation even more interesting. Choose the brush HB pencil and the size is the smallest and just do some wavy lines around the screen on each frame in different positions. And we are almost done. Now let's create a new layer at the top and drop in that red color from the first row. Change the layer to overlay and opacity around 30%. Then click on the noise layer and drag to 60%. Then click on this frame and choose foreground and press play and the animation is done and you can export it and share it with the world so this is the end of tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and if you have some suggestions about what to draw next please leave them in the comments and please consider subscribing so you don't miss the next week's tutorial till next friday